Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today in this session by ClearPix. Today, I'm going to be talking about a custom radar chart developed for Power BI. In this session, we will go to the following points. What is a Power BI custom visual? The custom radar chart that we develop, the architecture, and a demo to the radar chart. In business intelligence world, the data insights are key to analyze and understand how a business works. But clients also want powerful and creative ways to show the insights from his data. They want to create a wow effect. And sometimes with the default visualizations that BI tools offer us is not enough. Power BI allows us to create custom visuals to solve this need. So what is a custom visual? A custom visual in Power BI is a chart created from the stats using web development technologies like JavaScript. These visualizations can be fully customizable and allow us to show data insights in new and powerful ways. So now let's move to the radar chart that we develop. A few months ago, one of our clients needed a radar chart visualization to show some insights of his data. The current radar charts available in the marketplace have some limitations, and we decide to create a new radar chart from zero, fulfilling the needs of our client. The result is a fully customizable radar chart with unique functionalities like the possibility to define the position of the levels, configure the ellipses of the axis, enable animation to show or hide axis. In the demo, we will go to all these possible configurations, but before, I will talk briefly about the architecture. So first, we had some meetings with our clients and gather the functionalities that they needed. Second, we started with the development of the code for the custom visual. We use JavaScript and the itchers library. We decide to use itchers because it fulfills the needs of our client and also it's simple to develop. Then, once the code is finished, we generate a Power BI file that can be imported to any dashboard and the radar chart will be in your report. So now let's move to the fun part and see how this radar chart works in the Power BI. So here we have the Power BI file open. Uh, as you can see here in the, in the right side, we have the visualization panel. Here we have all the visualizations that uh, Power BI offer us by default. So if you want to add a custom visual, you must go to the key dot menu and you can click to get more visuals to get it from the marketplace or import one from a file. So in that case, I just import this uh, radar chart. As you can see, you can see this icon, this clear pitch icon. And to make it work, you only need to click on a visualization and click over this radar chart. So if you want to uh, make it work, you only need to add an agrupation group. Uh, let's say we want to say uh, countries and see the sales by these countries. And then the radar chart is working. So now let's move to the, all the configurations that we added to this radar chart. So if you go to the format panel right here, we had all these folders with conf configuration of this radar chart. So let's take a look. In the radar, we can uh, change the shape to a geometrical one or circle one, just clicking in this switch button. As you can see, the shape is changing. And let's see some other configurations. We can modify the color we can modify the thickness of this uh, radar chart. As you can see, this line now is thinner. We can also select the type of line. We can uh, show an area or disable this area. 
if we are showing this area, we can make it more or less transparent. Let's say less transparent right now. We can decide how many splits will be inside in our radar chart. Right now, there's four, now five, six, etc. We can decide also if we want this split, just clicking in the switch. And if we want this split, we can also select the color of these split lines that we have in our radar. Okay. So the next one is the shapes. We can decide if we want shapes on our radar and define the size. So as you can see now, we have these uh, circles in our axis and we can change it to this, all of this, this triangle, this another triangle, okay. So now let's talk a little about the levels. We have this default configuration about the size, phone family, phone color. We also add the units that we want to display and you can also play with the distance between the axis and the number. So as you can see, when I just make this number bigger, the level is move, moving upward. So now let's move to the axis configuration. Uh, here, we also have some uh, generic configuration about the size, font family, color. And we also add a nice functionality that is this vacancy's name. So let's imagine this United Kingdom uh, can be uh, a longer name. So maybe it's displayed like that. So with that functionality, we are able to split this axis name in two and make it feel better this the radar. Okay. Uh, we can also configure the legend. And here we have some generic configuration, but we also add a nice functionality that it's that you can click over this legend and then if you click again, it will, dis it will be displayed how this radar chart is created, okay? Then also we have a custom tooltip. So as you can see, when I put my mouse over the radar, we are showing all the information that this radar chart has right now. And finally, we have this filter interaction. So this radar chart is prepared to filter all the dashboard just clicking in the axis. So if I click over Italy, all the dashboard will be filtered by Italy. And then you can configure how this uh, word will be shown to the user to make it clear that it's filtered. So then I will go to the samples. And here I just prepare some visualization, some examples of what the radar chart is able to perform. So right here, this uh, maybe doesn't seem like a radar chart, but really it's, it's one. So we don't have lines, we only have these uh, dots. And I think that this could be a nice way to show data. And here we also uh, are showing a radar, but with more than one metric. Here, one of the nice things that we had is what I told you about the lesson that you can hide or show the one that you want and you have this nice animation to analyze better your data. Okay, with that, I finished the, the demo. So let me jump again to the presentation. The conclusion of this session is that the current radar charts in the marketplace can be improved upon. The custom visuals offer us a lot of flexibility and uh, visualizations can be personalized according to our customer's needs. Finally, 
I would like you to recommend a blog article explaining what is itchers. Please don't hesitate and have a look. So I hope that you enjoyed this session. Thank you for your attendance and attention and see you in the next one.